It's Mark Wiens. I am in Ubon Ratchathani, which is in the Isan region of Thailand, and I am sitting down for a meal at a restaurant called Somtam Pon Hip. This restaurant is very well known in Ubon for their, uh, well, for their Isan food and especially for their grilled chicken and their somtam. I have to say the, the plate of somtam here looks extraordinary. Uh, it is topped with a, a handful of metkatin in Thai. I'm not, I'm not sure what the English name is actually, uh, but they're like little seeds and they're actually kind of taste similar to stink beans, but they are very much, much smaller. Stink beans are like that size and these mekatin are just like tiny little sunflower seeds, but they are really good. And then there's also a, an olive in there. Uh, yeah, that looks extraordinary. We just transferred to a different smaller table because uh, a bigger group just came uh, to use the table we were on. So we're at a new table now, so you'll see a, a different background on the food. There are two different sauces. Both of them are homemade, of course. And then this one is like a more normal um, Thai gayang sauce with, with uh, chili flakes and fish sauce and lime juice. And then this one looks more like a garlic, like a garlic chili sauce. I think I'm gonna go in with this sauce first. Oh man, I don't think that's getting enough sauce. I might have to spoon it, spoon it on top. All right, oh yes. Oh, that sauce. I actually tasted the sauce before the chicken because it hit my lip from the top of the, from the, top of the chicken. That, I think there might be like some fizz in that sauce because it sort of tingles. Oh, wow. But that is garlicky, it's a little bit sweet, and I can taste the lime juice. Well, this drumstick is almost gone in just two bites, but I will try to layer, cover this in this sauce as well. That's a beautiful, look at that dark, dark red color as well. All right. That's just the classic um, gayang sauce. Beautiful roasted chili flavor. Um, it's spicy, it's sour, it's salty, it's not sweet. That's wonderful as well. This plate of samtam lao looks extravagant indeed. It is a beauty. And so let me dig into this. Oh, just look at those ingredients. That is a stunning, a stunning salad. Oh, that's, that is happiness in the mouth right there. Let me just dip in with some sticky rice real fast. I actually want to submerge my sticky rice in that sauce. Oh, we also got some thum sap, which is uh, isan soup with sour soup with herbs and pork. And this is looking wonderful. She added some chilies and some a little bit of oil at the top, and it's served in a ma fai, which is a, a fire pot. And that is extremely spicy after eating the raw chilies and then eating hot soup. That like magnifies the spiciness times times five. She put mint in there, she put culantro, which is a sawtooth herb, and she put cilantro. I think those are the main ones, but then there's also lemongrass, galangal, uh, and Wow, that's, I love how she used a lot of herbs in her thumb sap. Finally, we got some uh, Saikrok Isan, which they also make here themselves, so this should be good. 
and check out that. They grill it up. Oh, it looks, it looks not as fatty as some maybe, but yeah, definitely. Saikoki san is always a bit fatty, but it is so good. It's a little bit sour and really garlicky. Oh, that is uh, that is very good. And I think it's, I think it's more meaty than other saikoki san that I've had. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on some of this garlicky, garlicky sauce. Oh wow. The owners of this restaurant are so nice. They gave us a whole plate of uh, muya. Give it some extra flavor. It's pretty good. It's uh, yeah, kind of tastes like a big, big hot dog but it has a really nice black pepper flavor. I've tasted everything now, so I think I'm getting ready to circle back around and eat more chicken. And this is a restaurant you do not want to miss if you ever visit Ubon. I think that Somtam Lao was probably my favorite. I think that was actually perfect. I would not want anything less or anything more in a plate of green papaya salad. But also the, the gayang, the grilled chicken that this restaurant is really well known for was excellent. Um, especially those two homemade sauces were just superb. If you're looking for amazing uh, Isan food in Ubon, this is a restaurant you, you absolutely have to come, come eat here.